Alright then everyone, hello and welcome back to Brave New World Blindfolded. Uh, in this segment, or possibly even a mini segment if it's short enough, I'm just gonna be getting to Atma Weapon, or Atma I guess. I'm not gonna fight him just yet, all the way down. No battle yet apparently. All the way to the left. Okay, going all the way left, gotta remember that. Okay, this is Go-Go. Probably a preemptive. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Normally I'd have Go-Go uh, use the mana battery, but at this point in time... It's uh, pretty much a waste of time because Terra doesn't have any MP lost yet, so... Shuriken, Ninja Star, Fire Scroll. Fire Scrolls hit the Malboros at least for double damage. So that's something. That's Shadow. Um, so now let's uh, shove the Manor Battery down Terra's throat. Starting to feel like it's a... Uh... Oh, I w it's weird because I thought that was Bio Blaster from me for a second, but obviously not. Shuriken. Ninja Star, Fire Scroll. So yeah, Terra's MP is coming back. And this should hopefully finish everything. This is probably Sabin. Let's just have him do a standard mantra here. So, not too dangerous as a first fight, I suppose. However, I am a little... I did lose a bunch of MP there. Gogo's not going to be able to sustain Terra forever. Just mainly bolster her so that she can... Hopefully spam whatever she needs to until uh, I get to the end. No Phoenix Downs necessary. Actually, I should check Remedies as well, because I don't want to have poison people going into anything. Yeah, there we go. That's what I really needed to check. Actually, I should probably even double check uh, zombification to make sure that nothing slipped through my uh, not so watchful ears, I guess, in this case, because I wasn't paying that much attention to unlife. Skills, Terra, Magic, Cure. Didn't need much of that, which is only to be expected. That battle didn't hit me that much. Okay, all the way to the end. Almost in the first room, and at which point my tactics have to change a little. One, two, into the room. Okay, so this room lines itself up quite nicely. Just go all the way to the top. That worked out. All the way to the left. No battles yet. There we go, there's my Minerva. Not useful for the moment, I guess, but there will probably be uses for it in the future. Got an error on the downward side if I have to make a choice. Don't appear to have reached any battles going to here, so that's nice for me, I guess. If I only get battle one battle per room type, that's pretty nice, I suppose. All things considered. Left one step. All the way down. Still no battles. It's quite a stretch without a battle, so that's pretty decent. And I got the Minerva chest halfway through, so I guess it's less likely that something went wrong. All the way to the left. Now I'll probably get a battle before I hit this chest here. There we go. Battle! Okay, so this is... Shadow. Shuriken, Ninja Star, Fire Scroll, Wave Scroll. I've got no indication of what this battle is yet. Which is, in some ways, a good thing. No counterattack. I'm at full, so I might as well use Aura Bolt. This is Terra. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Why did I multi-target that? That was pointless. Mana battery on Terra. Now Shadow should come up very quickly. 
because he does that. I don't think I'm gonna get any information by waiting here. Well, it's definitely not a, a tunnel armor pallet swap guy, which is fortunate for me, I guess, because that guy's probably the most dangerous. All right, now Savin should be clearly using his mantra here. Gogo -Go just moved, so can use another fire three. I think both of the guys that use uh, a special attack that sound like that have to be weak to fire, so... Actually, that's not strictly true, I guess. Anyway... Inch of Star, Fire Scroll. I think that's the best option. Continue burning it to death. Lots of fire-based attacks going off. Which is, of course, good, because it's not going against me, they're going for me. Hopefully this takes them out. Yeah, there we go. Still not 100% sure what that was, but... Kind of tossing up between two enemies there. Let's just double check. No one died. Figured as much considering all he really did was miss me a whole bunch. Skills. Terra. Magic. Cure. Yeah. Pretty much not even a lot of damage, to be honest. Oops. No, why did I do that? Doesn't matter. I was up against a wall. Okay, run all the way down. Okay. All the way to the left. Okay, this the battles in here are slightly more dangerous than the battles elsewhere. So is this go go? Yes, it is go go. I actually want to open with Bio Blaster here. Probably gonna have enough MP to make it to the end, but Bio Blaster is significantly is actually of significant help here with so many things weak to poison. The Madams I won't do much damage to, but I uh, inflicting the poison status on them is pretty nice because it. We'll actually have time to build against them, I think. It's a Bio Blaster. This is Terra. She was just casting Fire 3, which means I need to move down 1 for Bolt 3. This is Sabin. Presumably. Yeah, it's Sabin. I figured it was a preemptive, so. Or a Bolt. Because I just want to kill these things as fast as possible. Jerkin, Ninja Star, Fire Scroll, Wave Scroll, Weirdly Placed Smoke Bomb, Bolt Scroll. And dang it, it's one of those guys. Not so good. Because they can throw Kanai's and that's dangerous. But of course I have the preemptive, so it's a little bit less dangerous considering it's probably going to die before it can even move. Okay, I know what fight this is now. That was a Bolt Scroll. I'm hearing some arrow. That's them uh, wishing... They weren't about to die. So now I might as well go in for the chainsaw, I guess, if I can remember where the chainsaw is. I think it's one up from the bottom right. At least I get to hit the dark force with the aura bolt. Chainsaw. This is Terra. Not going to help out much. I suppose I could cast Region X. Tier 2, something, region, region X. Oh, she hasn't got enough EXP to learn it yet. Well, that's unfortunate. There's not much else she can do, is there? I mean, I guess I could throw out a random region on someone. Here, shadow, have region. Shadow's still alive at any rate. Now he wants to be using the fire scroll again. I should have picked up more fire scrolls. Okay, he's dead regardless. No region necessary. In fact, Terra could have just sat there and Shadow would have done any... Done... That. Shadow would have beaten her to the bunch pretty much no matter what she would have done. Okay, so Phoenix down. Nope, didn't need that. 
Um. Remedy. Yeah, I heard that bio blast. Although, may not have done anything. Five fi Pretty sure this can't even be useful. <laughs> Skills. Terra. Magic. Cure. Okay. Hopefully I'm home free in terms of fights. Wouldn't be surprised if I was. This room's really easy to know. Pretty sure... Half the people watching this could probably navigate their way through this room. Without... Being able to see. And that's the end of that. I'm on the save point, so take the blindfold off. And save. See you next time. Er... 10 minutes, I can probably shove that into the next one, actually. Okay then, let's try to win this fight. Shouldn't be too hard a battle overall. This guy's not nearly as tough as his uh, older cousin there. Although, he's actually... He's obviously stronger, but... That doesn't account for much, I'm because I'm all way stronger. I've progressed a lot more than he has. Cure 2, Life, Region, Region X. Morph, and summon. It doesn't matter uh, who's who of uh, Shadow and Sabin yet, because I'm just going to be summoning with both of them so far. So Fenrir went off first, which means Shadow's going to be the next person to have his turn come up. For sure, because Shadow's much faster than Sabin is. So... And just set him up on the in shadows. Terra's done morphing. Yep. As expected. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ice three. So obviously Terra's gonna be doing a lot, a lot of damage with that ice three. Cause she's morphed and she's got uh Okay, this is probably seven, right? Yeah. Flare. Uh oh. How much damage does that do again? Should be fine, right? <coughs> so for three characters, I just got a mash A. And the last character is Savin, obviously, so. This is Shadow. Next one coming up should be Savin. I can't predict it all the time, but there it should be pretty obvious. I just want to keep spamming the chakra so that Gogo and Terra can go forever, and Gogo thoroughly outpaces everything that the weapon can do, as far as I remember. Eat the ninjato to the face. Shadow should be the next person coming up again. Obviously, I'm putting way, way, way less strategy than I did into Abelweth in the first time. <laughs> this is just... Spam the things. That might have been Purge or something, but even Quake isn't that big a deal. So, I'm not too concerned. The only thing I might want to do is, uh, if some, if Ray's goes off, I might want to uh, try to heal Poison, or maybe if Mind Blast goes off, I might want to use Remedies, because some like Terran Gogo will run out by the end of the fight. Oops, I think I just messed up seven splitses, so I wasn't paying attention. It doesn't even dispelling. Uh, his safe and shell isn't all that important. Because... Terra's already hitting the damage cap, pretty much. And... Okay, that's Flare Star. Terra's already hitting the damage cap, pretty much, so... She's only gonna be having about a tenth of her damage shaved off instead of a third. So it's not even worth bothering about, really. And Shadow cuts through defenses anyway, so I don't need to worry about him. So it's just continue on trucking, and that's pretty much all I'm going to do in general in this fight. 
is just keep spamming what I'm spamming. Unless I feel like I need to have Savin throw some remedies, in which case he's got some turns budgeted for that because I don't need to heal my MP every single turn. Oh, Glare, I guess I could technically hit someone too. Okay, Shadow wasn't hit by it, Sabin wasn't hit by it because I was just setting his turn up, so we're all good. The other two have ribbons, so no big deal. Mind Blast. That's about the worst thing he could do, really. But he can't really do much to my two main party members. I mean, I don't even care if... Big deal if Shadow and Gogo... If Shadow and Sabin die, they're barely even... Contributing as much as the other two, really, at this point. Since Gogo's probably doing just fine on MP, obviously, since I've just been using Chakra every turn, so if 7 went down now, no big deal. Glare. Doesn't matter, just gotta keep on rolling. And Shadow seems to be fine, so... Raze hits someone, hopefully Terra, because uh, she'll barely be affected by that, really. Oops. Should be going down any time now, probably. Oh, Quake or something. Yeah, it's gotta be Quake. Yeah, I think Seven might be out of commission here, but it's not spectacularly important, so I'll just let him be a rock, which he probably is right now. Goodbye. Kind of figured he was going down soon. So, very unlike Atmo Weapon, he went down in just like, probably like 10 minutes or so, and was super easy. Wow, that was <laughs> 10 minutes, that was 7 minutes. Holy cow, that was shorter than the uh, dungeon segment beforehand. See you next time!